Hi guys, hi gals. I want to talk with you about what's the real reason you chose you chose Christianity, Ricardo, or what's the real reason I chose Christianity, Ricardo? So it wasn't because I was desperate. Desperate for desperate for life or desperate to to get to make to make payback to anyone or because or because I wanted to because I wanted to say I'm better than any better than anybody else because I came I came I came to God I came to Christianity in 2002 when I was 19 and I chose Christianity chose Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior because and I think I have said these things before because I, I I came, I came to, I came to God when I, when I had everything under control. My whole life was under control. I was in control of my, I was, I was in control of my own life, my own destiny, and I do, and I did felt and feel that I had full control of my whole destiny. And then you know, a guy talk, spoke to me from a vague recall. I can't rec recall exactly what he said. He talked to me about the afterlife and stuff, and that kind of shook my foundations and just rem and just reminded me of some reminded me about the afterlife, which I completely forgot about, and and just and I was I was just concerned about the here and now, and uh, you know I didn't I didn't came to I didn't I didn't came to Christianity because of because of my because of my past or anything like that. I I came I I decided to become a Christian I I decided I decided sorry I decided to become a Christian because I wanted to give it a try see what it's like you know and and, and it would be great if 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 everybody did the same and just just try it out for more than more for more than a few years seven ten years let's say and then see what see what they see what they think of it have the experience of God touching their, their 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 own spirit their own their own flesh because God does touch this God does touch the, the the human flesh and you can feel the presence of God as well in churches you can feel God touching touching our our own bodies and it's it, it is not it's not it's not in, in control it's just God God showing his love towards humanity towards human beings so that but 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 in a nutshell uh, and i'll say it again the real reason i chose christianity was because i just wanted to give it a try and since then since 2002 since 2002 i never looked back 2002 Ju july july 2002 i never looked back so that's 15 years of salvation but it doesn't really, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter about the numbers of how long you've become a Christian, because that's what I've heard from people. Because you could be, fifteen years a Christian, you could, be, and you could be a smoke addict and a crack addict, and you, yeah, and you could just, you could just profess with your lips that you, that you're a Christian, and you can honor God with your lips, but your heart is not there with God. You know, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, emotionally tangled with Jesus Christ or with God. So, and you, and with 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 genuine Christians, you can see the love of God on on their faces. And and their passion for the kingdom of God and their their, their willing willingness to to help others, and to save others and to yeah. And every Christian is called to 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 preach the gospel in some way or form. Not necessarily, not ne not necessarily to preach the gospel, but just to, just to, just to express the love of God of what of what they experience emotionally, emotionally, and in here, in their hearts, of how God has impacted them and touched them, whether it's healing, or just emotionally, emotionally awaken them to their to their conscience of how real Jesus Christ is. To them personally, and to me as well. So you know, sometimes, you know, we are all we all feel down at at times, but in the end, 
when it, whenever whenever a human being is feeling down eventually eventually to to some point to some point they are going to need to turn to Jesus or they, they or they're going to feel that they need to turn turn to God to Jesus Christ because every 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 religion or the main religions have Jesus Christ in them if if not christian if not if not Jesus Christ then they'll mention christianity so they there is you see that they either mention Jesus Christ or Christianity, one of those two. But God is mentioned in every religion. Some people might say, "Oh, God is just cop, cop, God is just a coping mechanism." He's not really. He is a coping mechanism, yes. But at, at the end of the day, that's not the real reason why people choose Christianity. Because, and. And, and not 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 because not because someone is fearful after the after the afterlife. That's why they chose Christianity. That that is that is a that is another choice. That is another no, another choice as well. To 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 have reassurance after after the of uh, of the afterlife. So, yeah. That really all i have to say in this video about my description of why i chose christianity jesus christ as my personal lord and savior so let me just pray um heavenly father thank you for your grace and mercy that you put upon us from past present and future pray you bring healing to us O oh god pray you bring understanding in our minds and hearts about salvation and why 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 christians why christians chose you Jesus, Jesus, our Lord, and our, our, help us. Sorry, help us to understand, O oh God, and 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 to the unbeliever of why of why Christians chose chose Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior. I pray, you bring healing to our hearts and minds in Jesus' name. I plead blood, Jesus Christ, in our situation. Pray not in full upon our situation. I pray these things all in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. God bless you guys and girls. Take care. Bye for now.